Someone brought up a very important subject to me today. Cartoon violence. Actually, tonight. Matter of fact, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, I've ranted before. Actually, I don't even know if I uploaded any, um, video game violence rants. I might have. I'll have to look into that on all three of my channels. <clears throat> But I, I may have at least recorded one and not and not got the chance to put it on the internet. I've ranted about video game violence before. And not ranted about um, Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. I mean, I'm a fan of all video games. I'm a fan of all cartoons since uh, P-E-M-D-A-S-927 mentions cartoons. <clears throat> and we go into classics now. Video games like, oh, Super Mario. Now, granted, there's no, you don't see, mm, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Ah. Now, granted, you don't see blood in Mario, or guns, for that matter. You don't see anybody stealing cars. Hell, I've never even found a game where Mario steals a go-kart from somebody. But think about what they do show. I mean, let's be honest. If I was to go out right now and find, let's see, you don't have to be a, like a super small animal. don't even have to be like a mouse-sized animal. I mean, animal about, let's say, about maybe the size of a squirrel maybe or something like that. I mean, if I was to go out and stomp and actually jump down or just stand there and just stomp my foot down on an innocent animal's head and squash it, you know what would happen? PETA. People for the ethical treatment of animals would be all over my ass, like white on rice. Yeah. But no, no, but, but it's okay, you know. I mean, yeah, of course it's all wrong for people to go out and steal cars and video games and all that. But no, it's okay if you let some 500 pound fat guy stomp turtles. Fracture their shells. You know, pulverize their insides. Now let's go into the cartoons. Keep in mind, I'm also a big fan of uh, Looney Tunes and uh, Tom and Jerry. Now, some of the things are unrealistic. None of us have access to, like, um, gargantuan-sized catapults. You'd have to be in the army to get access to a dynamite stick. But... There are a lot of household items used. Oh, matter of fact, a lot of people, you know, own shotguns and rifles in their in their homes. <clears throat> I mean, let's be honest, if I took a shotgun to my face right now, one of two things could happen. I could either be like Daffy Duck, and my mouth could go to the side of, go right behind my ear over here somewhere, or maybe up on my forehead. My mouth might cover my eyeball. If I scream, you'll see my eyeball right behind that little hangy ball in the back of my throat. Or, the more logical explanation, I might die. Now, if you get a four or five-year-old kid watching Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Elmer Fudd, and, yeah, I mean, four or five years old, you know, they know, they know what dying is, I'm pretty sure. If not, you know, I'm pretty sure their parents might teach them. You know, let them know what's dangerous, but still. For a uh, like three or four year old kid sees Elmer Fudd bl blast Daffy's beak off, and let's say that same three, three or four year old kid finds his daddy's shotgun and shoots his brother in the face. Now, of course, the three or four year old kid's only expecting his brother's mouth to end up over here. But what, what actually happens? His brother's head busts like a fucking rotten melon. His brain splatters. And, well, you know, that family loses their pride and joy. Because, because why? Because a kid saw Daffy Duck's beak get blown off.
Imagine that shit. <clears throat> and of course, that same three or four year old kid, if he doesn't shoot his brother's face off with a shotgun, he ends up busting his brother's head open with a frying pan, you know, braining the poor kid, brains everywhere. And all he wanted to do was make his brother's face look like a fucking pancake. Imagine that. Why? Because he saw it on Tom and Jerry, or he saw it on the Looney Tunes. Yeah, cartoon violence, you know, can get pretty gruesome at times. Cartoons nowadays are are dumbed down to just a bunch of laughing and a bunch of grouchy characters saying, I mean, I'll admit, funny, um, really, really funny sounding substitutes for certain, for cuss words, you know. <clears throat> I mean, let's be honest, you know, if I saw someone drop a hammer on their toe, and yell, oh, fish paste, I'm going to think they're nuts. If I tell a joke to somebody and they start laughing, <laughs> I'll punch them in the head. Punch them in the nose. <laughs> because that laugh is like nails on a chalkboard to me. Now I know what that poor, um, whatever the hell he is, lives in the fucking tiki mask or something. <clears throat> now I know what that poor octopus deals with, or squid, or whatever the hell he is. I think the fucker's just a giant jellyfish. Whatever the hell he is. Now I understand why he's so grouchy. Pretty sure he wants to, pu wants to punch that stupid kitchen sponge in the face, too. Wow. This whole video talking about nothing but <laughs> Nintendo violence and Looney Tunes violence. Oh boy. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I may have already indicated about 50 trillion times. I may have already said that I'm a fan of Looney Tunes and all that. But they hear me talking about the violence, so they're just going to go ape shit on me. But who cares? Hell, if that happens, I'll just smack you in the face of the frying pan. <laughs> but I only want to see your face get flattened like a pancake. <laughs> Fuck. That's a double standard, though, right there. It's a double standard, though. Parents won't show their kids, you know, crime movies or anything that involve a lot of shooting. But they'll show their kids something unrealistic, which means the kid's going to expect an unrealistic outcome when they shoot their brother in the face or, or beat them over the head 50 times with a frying pan. Come on. <clears throat> That's why parents got to teach their kids things, you know. But no, they wait until it's too late. They wait until their son's head gets blown off because their three or four year old son thought their big brother's mouth is going to end up on their fucking earlobe. <clears throat> Double standard right there, I'm telling you. Let's not show our kids games where people steal cars. Let's not show our kids movies where a lot of people get shot. But oh boy, let's teach our kids that if you shoot someone in their face, their mouth hangs on their earlobe. And let's show them that it's perfectly okay to stomp innocent animals and squash them flat. Double standard. Two-Face. 
like that character on Batman, Two Face. The guy with the crooked face, like this. One eye's all squinted, like this. You know, one eye's all normal, like this. The other eye's like wide open, and you got the snarl, like a, like a meth head Elvis. I'm gonna end this video now. Fuck it all to pieces. Don't break yourselves. And to all the little kids that might happen across this, don't shoot your big brother in the face. Expecting his mouth to hang on his freaking eyebrow or something. Peace out. Mm.